Mina, welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I post Monday through Saturday. And um, I'm sorry I'm laughing. I actually made this video before, but my mom called me and I was in the like close to the end of reading my book in the video, that video, and I had to stop the video. So I'm redoing the video right now. In today's video, I'm going to read you guys Madeline. This is one of my favorite books. Folks, again, welcome to, back to my channel. If this is the very first video you're seeing me, then welcome to my channel. Please hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I don't remember if I said that. That I think I said it, but I don't know if anyone understood that because I was so giggly. Anyway, so I'm going to read you guys this book, and I'm going to get started. Ooh, it's pretty. In an old house in Paris that was covered in vines, lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. In two straight lines, they broke their bread and brushed their teeth and went to bed. They smiled at the good and frowned at the bad. And sometimes they were very sad. They left the house and at half past nine in two straight lines. in rain or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice. She loved winter, snow, and ice. To the tiger in the zoo, she said, she, Madeline just said, poo, poo. <laughs> and nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. In the middle of one night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and said, something is not right. Little Madeline sat in her bed, cried and cried, her eyes were red. And soon after Dr. Calling came, he rushed out to the phone. And he dialed Dan 10, 10 6. Nurse, he said, it's an appendix. Everybody had to cry. Not a single eye was dry. Madeline was in his arm in a blanket safe and warm. In a car with a red light, they drove out into the night. Madeline woke up two hours later in a room with flowers. Madeline soon ate and drank. On her bed, there was a crank, and a crack in the ceiling had had the habit of sometimes looking for like a rabbit. Outside were birds, trees, and sky, and ten days passed quickly by. Once nice mor one nice morning, Miss Clavel said, "Isn't it this a fine this a fine?"
day to visit Madeline. Visitors from 2 to 4 read a sign outside her door. Tiptoeing with solemn face, it, face with some flowers and a vase. In they walked in and then said, ah, when they saw the toys and candy and dollhouse from Papa. But the biggest surprise by far on her stomach was a scar. Goodbye, they said. We'll come again. And the little girls left in the rain. They went to they went home and broke their bread, brushed their teeth, and went to bed. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and said something is not right, and af and afraid of a disaster. Miss Clavel ran fast and faster. As she said, Please, children, do tell me what's troubling you. And the, and the, all the little girls cried, Boo hoo, we, have, we want to have our appendix out too. Good night, little girls. Thank you. Thank the Lord you are well. And now go to sleep, said Miss Clavel. And she turned out the light and closed the door, and that's all there is. There isn't any more. Okay, so um, that was me reading Madeline. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post Monday through Saturday, and I'll see you in a video soon. Bye!